Timaru is a really special place. I've, um, Nigel and I are born and bred here. We've lived here all our lives. I've done all, we've done all our schooling here. I've worked here all my life, apart from 15 months up in Christchurch. And um, I couldn't wait to get back to Timaru. It's where all my family are, and I've got my own kids now that um, we are raising here and going to school. Um, Timaru's close to the sea, close to the mountains, close to the lakes, close to rivers, so we've got everything on our doorstep and it's um, it's a growing wee area, we've got our own wee microclimate here that, yeah, it's great and I wouldn't go anywhere for anything. Stonewood Homes in Timaru, we've got a lot of experience on our um, books but as far as our project managers and the owners go. Um, we are coming up to completing our 200th home in July, so that's a ma major milestone for us. Um, common mistakes that people make when building a home people rushing into buying sections without getting the right advice, um, people that buy sections that aren't serviced and um, or even somebody that's bought a section that might have a bit of slope on it. Um, aside from that I think um, people need to go into a build, building process with their eyes wide open. Everyone wants the biggest and best of um, everything and then when you go in there you need to be mindful of what your budget is and how much this house is going to cost and don't don't try and get the house design that's, you know, 250 square metres, massive house, um, just because that's what your best friend has done. You need to get in there and um, design a house that fits your budget. Um, kitchens are the heart of the home and it is, um, you know, there's so much money you can spend in a kitchen and even with not spending heaps of money you can still make a kitchen really well um, just with simple colour changes and um, uh, maybe on your breakfast bars and that sort of area um, the, and the same with your bathrooms, tiled showers, fully tiled bathrooms and the type of bath that you have, freestanding baths and even your tapware make a big difference. We like to um, get involved in the local community as much as possible. You know, we lead a busy lifestyle with our two young children, but I try and keep involved in the kids' schooling as much as I can, go and um, parent help and, um, you know, take my car anywhere I can and lug kids around if, the, if needed. But we're also heavily involved in the local cycling community. Um, we sponsor a lot of cycling events and give a lot of the um, local clubs money for their cycling events. Cycling's growing in Timaru in South Canterbury, um, so that's where a lot of our sponsorship money goes. Um, the rewarding part of building a, ho a house for me is um, people sort of say to me, oh, and you know, you, you must get sick of houses because you've seen so many of them. But as I said earlier, we've built two, we're coming up to 200 houses, and I still love going into every single house that we build. And I make a point of going and seeing the, the, the house and handing over the keys to the customer because. Every house is still different and I love going in and seeing what people, people's colour choices are and just seeing how happy they are when they're in their finished product and um, you know walking around their house with looking at the big smile on their face and seeing the kids running around, it's just, you know, I don't, it's just warm fuzzies for me I guess. There is a lot of land in South Canterbury that's untouched and undeveloped and yeah in 2020 it'll be interesting to see um, how far out we've gone and, and where we grow to.